Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2025 Lexus ES350. This model is finished off in cloudburst gray. It has an MSRP at just over $48,000. So we have a lot to go over for this luxury focused sedan. And we'll start off with the uh, power. This has the three and a half liter naturally aspirated V6. It is paired to the eight speed automatic and this pumps out 302 horsepower 267 pound-feet of torque sent to those front wheels this 3700 pound sedan can do zero to 60 in six and a half seconds and as far as fuel economy goes you're looking at 22 in the city 32 out on the highway now going over the exterior styling you'll notice the es still has the distinctive hourglass design for the grill with the chrome surround the sensor is in the lexus logo there for the distance pacing there's also parking sensors and then plenty of cutouts to provide cooling. There's LEDs in the housings there, more chrome accents, and then some nice lines that come down the hood. This model also has the optional 18 inch wheels with that two-tone design to them. There's power folding side mirrors with the integrated turn signal, that chrome accent, and then gloss black up top. Sunroof is also on this model. All the window trim is finished off in chrome. And then there's some really nice sleek lines running down the side and one just above the door handles leading all the way to the back here and back there's the lexus badge along with the backup camera the chrome accent that runs right through that trunk lid there there's leds for those tail lights backup camera all the sensors and then some chrome for the exhaust surrounds there now as we work our way to the cargo this also has the hands-free option so you can just kick your foot up underneath the floor there or the bumper and you can open it up. You can also use that button on the right side or the key fob. Now for the ES350, you have a lot of space. The only downside is you can't fold down the back seats. You just have that cutout right in the middle. But as you can tell, you can fit in quite a lot to make this practical. And then you can also lock and unlock all four door handles from all four, which is very nice. And then this has a white interior. There's also some wood trim accents, the black leather, a little bit of storage down below. And then at five foot 10, as we hop in, there's a good bit of space. You have some storage pockets, some auxiliaries, you have climates, a little bump in the middle, but it's not all that bad there. And then right in the middle, you have the armrest with cup holders, and then you can actually lock this door, which gains access to the trunk space there. I also have about an inch or so of headroom. And then here's a look at visibility where you have some large windows. So it provides a lot of light for your backseat passengers. Up front, this has memory seating adjustments. There's also the window controls, side mirror adjustments, a little bit of storage down below, and then a two-tone design for these front seats. They are power adjusting, so all of those controls are down on the side there. And then as we start this up, there's the full leather steering wheel. There's also paddle shifters on both sides. You have your cruise control, distance pacing, lane keeping assist, mode and tuning. And then on the left side, there's volume, Bluetooth adjustments, and then these arrows to go through the digital screen. Now on the right side, there's your engine temperature as well as fuel. Right in the middle, there's the tack, miles per hour, and what gear you're in. And then on the left side, you can scroll through all this information, just depending on the vitals that you need to see. You do have some standard safety features that you can go into and configure. So not all that much info, but it's very helpful to have that. And then on the uh, left and right side of the uh, gauge cluster cover, traction controls on this left side. On the right side, there's the driving modes. So there's eco along with sport, and then normal is just by pushing on the end of that stock there. Now also on this left side, you have a little bit of storage here. There's the fuel cap and trunk release. You have a nice trim accent under the one air vent. And then as we work our way to the infotainment system, there's a clock on one side, and then you have your music and phone. This also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can hook up your phone to go through this system as well, along with going through all of these settings to configure it the way that you would like to. Now there's air vents underneath that, all the climate adjustments with your temperature readouts on the far ends. We have some more audio adjustments along with volume and tuning there. E-brake is located under the engine start stop button. And this is also equipped with heated ventilated seats as well as the heated steering wheel. Now there's a little bit of storage below that along with some auxiliaries, two cup holders on that right side. And then as we put this into reverse, 
you get the backup camera with those guidelines and then two different angles. You can also shift using the shifter or the paddle shifters themselves. Auto hold is behind that. There's your wireless charging. And then you have two different ways to open up the center armrest. So if your passenger needs to grab some items, very nice to be able to do that. There's storage in the glove box and then garage door buttons up top along with dome lights and controls for that sunroof. And here's a look at visibility from the driver's seat where it's very open. So for this being a daily driver, you can easily see all around. And in sport mode, second gear, here we go. Definitely has a good bit of power to it. It's not the fastest vehicle, but it's not underpowered by any means. So you have plenty to get up, merge, get onto the highway and things like that. But this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the Lexus ES350. I will say, I wish the infotainment system was a little bit larger, but we have the clock on one side, which a lot of Lexus models still incorporate. What's not in this model is a CD player though. That's a huge comment I get on a lot of the Lexus models. For the 25 year model, I'm not sure if in 24 they offered it, but that is gone for the 25 year model. So you just now have the ability to hook your phone up or listen to the audio but it's a nice vehicle to drive. I like the simplicity of it. I like that this is something that is going to be incredibly reliable. This is a vehicle that you could own for well over 10 years. It's going to be a great daily driver. You're going to get some really good MPG. Maintenance shouldn't be anything really aside from yearly oil changes and then tires, things like that. But as far as engine maintenance goes, really just the oil changes, Lexuses are going to be incredibly reliable to maintain. So this is a, from a cost perspective, it's not going to cost that much throughout the ownership experience. So if you want one vehicle, you want a vehicle that you can have for quite some time, any Lexus model really is going to be a great option to go with. But you have tons of space, so it's a practical sedan, a little bit larger. So if you want just a little bit more space in your sedan, you're not looking for an SUV or a taller vehicle. You have a little bit longer of a vehicle, which is nice. Turning radius is also great. So parking, parking lot situations and things like that, it's going to be very easy to drive. And that is going to wrap it up for the 2025 Lexus ES350. Once again, a huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this sedan for me today. Take a look at their website, give this video a huge thumbs up, and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.